welcome to my this video this is today I'm gonna show it how to use variables in your Java program in NetBeans okay let me start with the main types of data types that you have given integer pro double or many things right so I'll show you at the data types available in Java here today then how to use those data in our program okay let me start with integer for integer I will use int and I will give variable name int is data type so I will give variable name x okay so this is int now next I have float float y and this is variable y that is of type float and I will give another one double and variable z means z is variable where it is of type z and sort okay sort yes where s is of s is a variable that is of type sort and byte b where b is byte b is a variable that is of type byte and we are having many more boolean boolean that is b o l bool where b o l bool is boolean and it's of type boolean okay so next int short and long yell yell is a variable which of type long so I will these seven and next Next, I'm going to show you it long double. Okay, yield. Oh, we're not taking that's why by which integer we are having cat c for c is a variable that is a type character. We're having a different data types here. So now, how to use this? different data types in our program i'm going to show you here okay for that see our s is integer that's why i will assign value with x x equals to equals to 10 10 is an integer so i'm assigning 10 with x now x value is 10 okay y is float that's why i will assign some values 20.23 or two because this is float means always in point okay that's why I will use 20.2423 right so it's not taking because it exists more than two float right what is saying that what's your loss of precision required float found double so it's saying that zero because we are using float and double in single code that's why it is saying that it is found double so I will show you this in z is our double so it will accept this one right so double means you can use many more right now sort and how do you use byte okay byte so byte our b equal to equal to 3 2 byte right 2 is our value that is assigned to that and boolean boolean is not a value if you keep value then it will show error because this bool bo is a variable that is of type boolean so boolean has always only two values that is 1 or 0 or true or false in java only except true or false right if you give true means Sorry for a spelling mistake. We will give true, right? True or false. Now, next character C. C character, right? If you give some number, then you don't accept. Okay. Oh, it is accepting, and but it will print some other garbage value. That's why we have to give character in always single precision. That is yes right so let me print these values in our console using system 
cut out the print L and print L and we have to print T of spelling now system dot out dot print L and <coughs> now we have to print Z values like that we print all those values then it will display and finally system system dot out dot print ln ln c values c then let me run right click on the here right click and run file click on this then it will give you output whatever you have assigned with this okay now hello world because it will always start with main method that's why the first start main is system dot out print ln whatever is there it will print this one hello world then we are printing i will show you we are printing the x value system dot out dot print ln the x value what is the x value x value is 10 that's why it will print 10 here here in output and what is next Mm, then I have print here Z that's why it will print Z value that is I assign with 20.099 that's why it will print 20.099 and C value is C yes that's why it is printing yes if you change some name here then it won't accept because it will take has as a string okay this character is only one character that's why it is printing here if you change this here see as y then it will print the same output let's see see we are printing y as output <laughs>